Want to learn more about the dynamics between men and women? Then check out the multi-part video series I have explaining the masculine and feminine energies. Access the link and watch it now. All right, so in this video, we're going to be speaking about the reasons that a woman should get with an older guy. And the reason we're going to talk about this is because it seems that having certain age gaps in relationships today are kind of frowned upon in Western society. It's very interesting. It's extremely interesting because I would say an age gap in a relationship is actually more natural than equal age relationships. But again, I'm, I'm thinking of how life has been for millions and thousands and hundreds in the last decades that we've been on this planet rather than just the last 70 years that has been modified by, you know, the modern, you know, fake empowerment feminist movement, right? So let's say this, the closer we are to nature's conditions, the closer we are to age gap relations being a necessity. So because this society has socially engineered equality, that is where I believe this confusion or this belief that there shouldn't be an age gap. Now I'm not saying there should be, I'm just saying it's actually, it, there's nothing wrong with it is what I'm trying to say. So you have some people say like five years, a five year age gap, let's say a 22 year old gets with a 27 year old or something like that, that's weird to them. And I'm like, but that's more normal than a 22 year old getting with a 22 year old. But I have to consider where they're coming from to even say that, right? And you know what's interesting? Um, women who are 22 will still go for a guy that's older anyway. They will they will say, oh, I need a guy that is at least two years older. But I'll say this, right? The traits that a woman goes for is not just physical. It's very mental. It's very financial. It's very lifestyle wise. It's very spiritual. So. The traits that a woman goes for increases in a man as time goes on, as he gains more experiences. That's why they say uh, a, a man ages like fine wine. He gets better with time, but you know, women age like milk because their, you know, their value is heavily put into their fertility and so on, which is in their younger years, and it falls off as they get older and they're less fertile. But for a man, it's not really about that because his fertility remains until then age of practically death i believe for most men and um what the women go for men uh what the women go to men for the men get more of as they increase in age so for example if a woman goes for confidence if she goes for a guy with status if she goes for a guy with intelligence if she goes for a guy with life experiences bedroom experiences all of these things increase as time goes on i didn't even i forgot to mention money a man's going to be in his financial prime usually after 35 and 40. so if a woman does take pride in financial security it's likely she's just gonna uh desire an older man if that is high up her list right but we'll also say this one of the biggest things i think is maturity so a younger guy is more likely to mistreat her because he's just immature. And even where he has good intentions, this is still going to be the case. So let's say a 20 year old girl gets with a 20 year old guy. Uh, tw yeah. So the 20 year old guy hasn't learned anything about life. He hasn't really learned how, especially in this day and age, how to lead a woman and so on. So he's just likely to mismanage and mistreat treat the situation because he just doesn't know how um many guys know this right your woman could be acting up in a certain way and there's a feeling of what do i do what do i do this is why you go to the internet to try to learn it because there's a sense of confusion for you you understand that as a man you are the one that's supposed to lead things forward and take control but you just don't know how to whereas a woman doesn't really it's not there she's expecting the person on the other side to do it and she finds that more with a man who is mature and has life experience what's interesting is even if he has good intentions to be a good guy you know at 20 or 21 it still doesn't matter he could still just mistreat her because he just doesn't know how you know he just he don't know how to handle certain situations um it's very interesting it's very interesting i have a traditional mindset so I would never think that that's weird. Now, I'm not saying um, that it should be, you know, 
there should be an age gap. I'm just saying that an age gap is pretty normal and if anything is more normal than the alternative. And the problem with this is a lot of people try to define it, right? So they try to define how many years is okay, but what gives you the right to do so? So if you say two years, why not three? <laughs> you know, it's very interesting. If you say three, why not four? And what validates the four being wrong from that person saying it? And you say three, but because you said it, it's okay. You know, I, I really don't understand the, the moral entitlement that people have uh, these days is very, very interesting. I would say if uh, the two parties are happy, they're adult and they're consenting to the situation, it could be a 56 year old woman with a 25 year old man and that would make it okay. Okay, I would never shame it because, well, they're adults and really I don't care that much because it's not my life. However, I want to know what you think. So what do you think is appropriate and what do you think is wrong? For example, comment down below and let me miss know. I'll see you in the next video. Want to learn more about the dynamics between men and women? Then check out the multi-part video series I have explaining the masculine and feminine energies. Access the link and watch it now.